Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys, where today we're trying out something a little bit different. Today we're starting a little bit of a Forza Horizon 4 mini-series where we start our grind for Grand Master. Throughout my entire time playing Forza Horizon 4, I've never gone particularly try hard to achieve a good rank. Well, today that ends because today we start the Forza Horizon 4 grind to Grandmaster. This is going to take a very long time. So as per always, if you do want to follow along with this story, feel free to subscribe. However, you might be wondering how exactly I'm going to achieve a Grandmaster rank. Well, for those of you who don't know, Grandmaster is rank 1 in Forza Horizon 4. It goes to only the fastest of fast players. There are only a couple of them on the leaderboard. Now, I'll be honest, even though I've never gone too tryhard, the best rank I've ever really been able to achieve in Forza Horizon 4 has been like rank 6, 7, 8 or so on like a really good month. However, there is one thing that I might be able to do, and that's drifting. For some reason in Forza Horizon 4, I have never actually done a rank drift adventure before. And I think this is going to be the best way or my best chance of achieving Grand Master rank in Forza Horizon 4. So why don't we just jump into one and see what I can do? My first ever ranked adventure in Forza Horizon 4 drifting. Oh no way, we've actually got a Grand Master in this lobby. So the way this game works is you'll get more points and more rank for beating better and better players. So if I can actually beat that Grand Master, that is gonna do amazing things for my rank. Okay, that guy's already uh, pretending he's a Ferrari. This is my nearly 2,000 horsepower RTR Von Gittin Jr. Mustang. And I'm really hoping it can get me a couple of points out here today. I'm going up against, obviously, some really, really good drifters, but I'm in P2 already, so that is not bad. We're gonna need to push the angle Push the speed. Yo, look at this guy in front of me in his little golf. He is insane sideways. That is so crazy. I never would have expected a golf to have nearly 60,000 points more than I do. Anyways, I've dropped down to P3, nearly P4. Look at his angle. Yo, he's running sim steering as well. You can see how snappy he is. Anyways, lap number one in the books, nearly 500,000. All right, now we can push this up. Let's go for the top three. Come on, I want that Grand Master. No way, I actually dropped all the way down to P6 with my first lap now that everybody's got their scores in. Okay, rank drift adventure is way more difficult than I would have thought. There we go. That's a nice improvement on that lap, though. 550,000. I know I can do even better than that. Come on, little Mustang. We have three minutes left. Okay, somebody want to tell me how the guy in first place nearly has 800,000 points? I think there's some room for improvement there. Yeah, P7. And the guy in first place... No, it was a BMW Isetta. For those of you who don't know, that's one of the best cars in this game for, like, points. That is unreal. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I was trying to go P5. I went P5. That's not a bad position. No, the A86 was able to take me down by two points. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. So I've completed my first... I'm gonna be here for a really long time. So that was a couple of days ago, and since then, I've done a little bit of research to give us a little bit more luck through these ranked drift adventures. If you're a part of the AR12 Discord server before, you might have heard of one of our members named Mika. If you actually open up the Forza Horizon 4 Grand Master list and head over to Drift Adventure, and you scroll through the list, 
you will find Mika on this list. Mika is one of the best drifters in Forza Horizon 4, and he gave me a couple of tips and a couple of cars I should be using while trying out some of these drift adventures. So I've actually already gone in and downloaded and applied a bunch of those really good drift tunes that Mika was suggesting on a lot of those cars that he was suggesting. So let's load up a second drift adventure and cross fingers that we can do well. Or at, at least better. That would be good. Here we go. Welcome to drift adventure part number two. We've got S1 to S2 class in rear wheel drive cars. I'm actually in the perfect car for this thing already. This is my S1 slash S2 car. It is rear wheel drive, the Shelby Monaco. This is unfortunately one of the cars I don't actually have that much practice with out of the list that Mika gave me. So I'm really gonna cross fingers and hope we can do well with this. I really gotta get the dub out here, except we do have a BMW i set us, so He's probably going to be pretty good. Let's go, Shelby Monaco. Yeah, you can see how many points that that little BMW Isetta is already getting. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This opening lap is not going that well. I mean, I'm in P3, but I'm also leading the pack, and there's also six people only in this. Y you see what I mean about that whole practice thing? Yeah, so I think we can definitely say that's got to be, like, one of the worst opening laps I've ever done in the history of Drift Adventure, ranked or unranked. So yeah, this has got to be a, a little bit of a better one right here in the Shelby Monaco. Come on, I'm in P5 out of six people. I, I got to do better. Please keep the points coming in. Keep the angle up as well. Oh, I'm not, not maximizing points. I've got to push it that little bit harder. This is almost like too safe of a lap this time. That's what I'm talking about though. We are already improving our score. Make that P4. Thank you very much, Shelby. Still, still room for improvement though. P3, try to get one more lap in and get up to 500K. Come on, please, please. I'm learning how to drive this car a little bit better though. So that's good for our upcoming round. Here we go, here we go, better. Oh, not good enough. 200 points. Are you kidding me? Like I said, the BMW I said is really, really OP. But that's just insane. We go P4. Oh, how is that guy ranked 20? In what universe? Here we go. Race number two. This one's actually on a really, really long circuit. So... Maybe it'll benefit the Shelby Monaco a little bit more. We'll have to see. In before, the BMW Isetta just absolutely destroys me and embarrasses me again. That's 100% going to be the case, but I I'm going to try to come P2, all right? This is actually way better on a big, like, open, flowy circuit like this. Oh, a thousand times better. Look at those points rolling in. 200,000 before the back straight? Incredible. Shelby Monaco be playing with my heart like, you spin me right round, baby, right round. Come on. Come on, push this thing a little bit more. We need to maximize. I've dropped down to P3. Not good enough. Come on. This is looking good, nice and smooth. Keep it on the road. Not a not a record-breaking run. But that What was that little bounce I hit? I don't I don't appreciate that, but that is P2. Thank you very much, Shelby Monaco. I can improve even more. No, I've been knocked down from P2. No! No, I'm getting that back. I'm getting back P2. I will not stand for that. No. No! No! Are you kidding me again? And I don't have time for another lap. I actually cannot believe it. I bottled it again. Oh my God. I'm going try hard, okay? I'm, I'm finishing P2. I, I, I think we could also call this series, watch a grown man break down over the course of 10 to 15 minutes. 
Be because that's what this feels like. Okay, so I wasn't even really trying on my opening lap. I was just trying to get to do a flying lap, but I'm already up to P3, so I guess that's not ter terrible. I'll keep going. Uh, correction, I am actually in last place now. Man, my opening lap wasn't very good as it turns out. Who needs P2 when you can go P1? Let's go! 440 that Never mind, I'm back to P2 again. I am now out of time. I've just got to hope that that score gets me the P2. Come on. I've got one minute to wait. The guy who was winning just quit. So the guy who was winning, he was in P1. He quit now. So I've got P1. So I've got maximum points. How many points is that going to leave me with in the championship? I think the guy who quit was like tanking his own rank. I finish up in P2 in the championship with 44 points on... I, I should have been P1, but you know. In terms of my rank now... Rank, rank, rank 14! I'm going to do another one, okay? Are you for real? So, uh, my game crashed. Apparently, Forza doesn't want me to try to get Grandmaster. You're having a laugh. You know, as it turns out, I think getting Grandmaster is going to be a little bit more difficult than I originally thought. I knew this would take a while, but I think it's going to take a really, really long while. I mean, after today, though, if I pause the game, I head over to Drift Adventure. We're rank 14, which isn't bad. We've got the entire summer to improve our rank. As always, if you do want to follow along on this journey, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button for more. And if you guys have any tips, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!